So multitasking over here. Everybody all in position with your stuff. Uh -oh. <coughs> Funky <coughs> Phil, what are you doing up so early? You wake up this early all the time? What up, Ben? He's seeing it on his computer. I was like, where is he seeing these people? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm on my Instagram. No, I'm know. on Instagram right I here. I see it. Yep. I'm multitasking over here. Uh, what's up, Nick and Eric? Long time. No see. How you guys been, bro? DJ Carlos Pro says, Nick V. Nick V. He said, what up? Uh, you got national days, though, brother? I Did do you? have national days. Okay, cool. Uh, are you already ready? Ready? Mm -hmm. uh, no, I'm talking to the chat. Oh. <laughs> I'm not talking to you. Well, you're like, you ready? I mean, they're all there. Yeah, hit the, ch hit the intro so they, we can get the show started. We're not going to do the intro because okay. I haven't connected it to Instagram. Oh. I want to make sure that everything's running coincide. All right, coinciding. So we're just going to go straight in. Now, remember what I told you. We're, we're going we're gonna to try to do it with no music beds. So what does that mean for me over here? Just turn it off? That means just mute it. Just mute it. So we're just going to pretend like top of the hour, come in with the same energy. Go ahead, go ahead and play it. Just come in with the same energy of like we have the music bed. Okay, that's fine. Man. But for this, you you want me to mute this as well? What? You're not going to be editing the, the intro, right? For uh, The intro is fine. You could do the intro. It, the it's all, it's want. all, it's really the, the long form breaks. Okay, cool. So everything go. else is fine except for long form breaks. Here we go. Check, so. check, check. It is the Baker Boys Daily of Feel Good Friday. Nick yeah. V, Eric V, and Ari Rose in the building. How y'all feeling out there? Feeling good. Amazing. All right. Better than Diddy. Yeah, definitely oh. better than Diddy. Oh, man, what is going on? <laughs> yeah, we got an update on Diddy, right? Yo, it just keeps unraveling and unraveling. It's and, a spider uh, web right yeah, now, bro. Yeah, <laughs> we're about to get into that today. And I'll also... Wait, you gotta t you gotta tell me if you were gonna go or if I were. Gonna no, we didn't discuss it. Okay, well let me know who's I gonna go. I just assumed first. that I was gonna go because you were doing other things, so I, was, I have something. You have something? Okay, start over. Yep, you guys do it. You guys are doing the first. Get into that today. I got it. Okay. Into that today. It's and, a spider uh, web right now, yeah, bro. Yeah, <laughs> we're about to get into that today. And also, Arnold Schwarzenegger reveals that he just received a pacemaker. The dude has had several surgeries. What? I, I never knew this. Me neither. Coming up in the Baker Bus. the music. All right, National Days. All right, I'll start it. Hold on. Go. Hey, it's the Baker Boys Daily. Eric V and Nick V. Today's National Day well, is... National Vietnam War Veterans Day. Oh, okay. A lot of people lost their lives. Yes. A lot of people yeah. never came back. And those that did come back had a really hard time. Yes. And we mm -hmm. definitely want to send them love, man. All right. Make a best dry tease. You start. It's the Baker Boys on a Feel Good Friday, along with Ari Rose, coming up in the Baker Buzz. Man, it is just getting worse and worse and worse for Diddy. We've been following it all week, and now we are going to update on what's the latest. All right, uh, all right, and also, Arnold Schwarzenegger reveals that he just received the pacemaker. He says he's more of a robot now. <laughs> <laughs> so he's more Terminator. Now. Yeah, more Terminator. Yeah. Okay. Com coming up next, 102 Jams. 100% throwbacks. The you already forgot. From Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. No camera. Uh, now this is where you're muting. So don't even have it on there. Or, or if you want to mute it, it's, right. up, it's up to you. Go. It's up to you. You start. All right, guys, it's time for your bank of buzz right now. Nick V, Eric V, and Ari Rose right here. Arnold Schwarzenegger reveals that he just received a pacemaker. That's right. Did we all know that he had open heart surgery like two or three times already? No. I that, didn't even know. He was, I thought he was so healthy, right? Yeah. I the mean, dude is a bodybuilder, but it might be because of all the steroids that he took so oh. long ago. Mm. The actor announced on his Arnold Pump Club podcast that he's recovering from the procedure after previously having three open heart surgeries. Wow. Last Monday, he says, I got surgery to become a little more of a machine. I got a pacemaker, he says. First of all, I okay. want you guys all to know that I'm doing great. I had my surgery on Monday. By Friday, I was already in a big environmental event with my good friend what? and fellow fitness crusader, Jane Fonda. So That's crazy. That is insane. That but quick. good for him. Yeah. yeah. Before the latest surgery, Schwarzenegger had two surgeries in 97 to replace his pulm uh, 
pulmonic valve and his aortic valve, oh. which will last up to 12 to 15 years. I, it was a quiet uh, surgery. Wow. Nobody knew about this. Yeah. I never well, knew about it. That's good. He didn't need no sympathy. He was like, look, let me get what I got. Let me do what I got to do and get back into it. He's an Iron Man. Well, speaking of uh, someone who is a little more fragile right now yeah. than that is Diddy, man. What is going on? I mean, first there was the raids. You know, the kids were handcuffed. Right. Then his jet was, like, landed in a different country, couldn't leave. Yeah, but he then wasn't he, on the jet. But no, what was on would, the jet? That's the question. Yeah, there's rumors that there were, like, tapes, videos, and, and documents, and all kinds of stuff that they were flying to a different country. Yeah. So it couldn't be, you know, looked at well, as, as evidence. Did you see that they found, they just said now that they found uh, private cameras in every single room yeah. in oh, his yeah. house. Oh, yeah. yeah. And they're saying that there's footage of celebrities and all of this stuff, CEOs oh. from big record labels, yep. big companies that yep. were funding all of this. Yeah, um, yep, yep. this is par for the course. If you guys do not know, the underbelly of Hollywood is very deep and very, very dark. And I've been preaching mm -hmm. and telling everybody about it for years, but nobody would listen to me. And also, he sold all his shares of Revolt. Yeah, yes. So he's, he's out of there. out of that he's now. out of Revolt. And then there's rumors about Young, <laughs> young Miami oh, yeah. being a, a sex worker. He, I, I, and, and the ex of uh, 50 Cent. 50 Cent. It's just a mess. Well, and now they just arrested his uh, alleged drug, drug mule, mule. Uh -huh. who happened to be a former Sierra Cruz uh, basketball, basketball player. player. Right. What? It's yeah. deep. And also young Miami was supposedly <laughs> smuggling pink cocaine for him as well. Yes. <laughs> called Tootsie. There's just too much stuff uh, it, going on. It is like it is like peeling the onion back at a very, very rapid rate. Yes. So we will see what happens next in this whole saga, this Diddy saga. <laughs> you know saga. what? Before the show is over, we'll probably have more updates. Probably so. <laughs> so, um, but anyways, you know, it is what it is. And that's your makeup buzz. Just cut it off. We were going too long. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. SF Local. All right. You don't want no music beds either, right? Uh, no, You know we're what? Not, we're not doing SF Local for, for social media, <laughs> are we? I mean, some of them can you be used for social media, so let's just try to do it without it right, right now. So what's it going to be? Uh, subjects, topics, anything. All right. I can put this on. Uh, Medell, it's the new OJ case. It's, it's like the new OJ case. Mm -hmm. uh, what up, Girls Roll? Good morning to you. Uh, babe, you weren't supposed right, to go. remove the, the gauze. gauze for 24 hours. Yeah. That's after 2 p.m. today. What's that? What are, you, are we talking about, the gauze? Oh, well, I could talk about that. It's personal. Okay, cool. Let's go. Go ahead. All right. It is 102 Jams, 100%. 100%. It is 102 Jams, 100% throwbacks to the Baker Boys early in the morning right here at 6 to 10 a.m. Yeah, right yeah. here at New Morning Show. Yeah, so we're in the chat right now. My wife is telling me you're not supposed to remove the gauze for 24 hours. And I'm looking at you like, where did you have gauze that you weren't yeah. supposed to? Was it on your eye? Were you no, a pirate? it was on my chest, actually. Oh. I had a growth on my Ooh. chest right here and I went to go have a procedure done to have it removed. And what? when they pulled it out, it was like a little tiny marble, but it was white and it was gooey, but it was solid kind Ooh. of. I know, right? It was so nasty, but it was been it has been growing for like um, you know, 6 to 9 months. What was it? It, it was I, I want to call it an abscess, but it was basically think of uh, of like a pimple that is not able to come oh. out. So my skin covered it up, and it just kept on building Ooh. up inside of there. And I got worried and concerned, and my wife was like, "You got to go." Well, yeah, you should. Yeah, should get that. you walked around with the third nipple for six and pretty nine much. Months? Yeah, and I didn't get paid for it. So <laughs> <laughs> if, if it's if it's any type of grow, growth besides an erection, you don't need it. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> This insane. is true, but it's gone now, <laughs> and now I feel a lot more confident oh. as I go on the icon of the sea coming up here for my vacation next Wait, I just want to know, would your wife lick your little third nipple? Oh, That's come gross, on. dude. <laughs> Why? Come on. I wouldn't even think about asking her to do that. Why would you even bring that because up? Because Melissa would. You know, you know what you should have Melissa did? loves the hell you, out of her husband. You missed a huge opportunity for your growth, for what? Nick V. You could have started yeah. your own... Internet, uh, Instagram page, mm -hmm. your own TikTok, yep. and, it, and documented the whole thing. You could have named it. Yeah. yeah. Three Pete. <laughs> <laughs> Baker Boys in the Morning. Baker Boys in the Morning, one or two jams. 100% hip hop. No, 100% no, throw. throwbacks, baby. <laughs> And she would. I'm laughing because she says, I'll lick anything, girl. Tricks of the trade. Oh, it. shit. What up, Congressman? West Warwick. Ladad. Cruise ships are floating Petri dishes. Thank you. <laughs> what up, Izzy? And I'll be on one, the biggest uh, one. Uh, I'll look anything, girl. All right, girl. I told you. That's All right, right. Down. Let's you got, go. it. got it. All right. Yeah. It is 102 Jams. It's the Maker Boys right here on a feel-good Friday, of course, 100% throwbacks. Yeah.
So Easter is upon us this weekend. Wow. Today is Good Friday right. for all those out there enjoying the weekend and celebrating. Do you celebrate? Uh, oh, I know you celebrate yes, Easter. Yes. Do you have a whole plan? Do she was indoctrinated like... in the church. Of course right. she does. Right, right. <laughs> actually, I was not. No? No. But you do celebrate it. I do. And what do you but celebrate, actually? I celebrate Easter, I, Easter but, Resurrection Sunday. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Oh. Resurrection Sunday yeah. also is a fertility god um, back in the day, back from the Egyptian era. So the mm. eggs and the bunnies, yeah. that's a fertility huh. situation. Huh. Nobody knew that. Ooh, that, makes, that makes sense. Everybody thinks it's the resurrection bunnies of Jesus. Bunnies like the hump. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> what? We just went down a rabbit hole so saying, fast. He said bunnies, eggs, and resurrection. And, yeah. And, and, and fertility. fertility. Yeah. yeah. Well, my daughter gets back from uh, Barcelona on Sunday, so I'm yeah, picking her up from the airport. So okay. I'm going to have a little Easter basket for her. Go nice. have a little brunch at Do you brunch, hide eggs you know? for her still? Um, she's 22 now. I'm just asking. <laughs> but you know what? We're so like we're so youthful still. Like It's something I would do, and she would actually enjoy. We would just be laughing about it, having yeah. a good time. You right, know? It's cute, a little it's Easter basket. Memories. Yeah, so what do you put in her Easter basket? Question. Uh, I put like a book, some chocolates, you know, just little things. Nothing crazy. I don't go spend $100 on a basket. I'm talking like 20 bucks. You know, okay, it's just that's for like, thought. It's exactly, it's the gesture. But Seas Candies is celebrating 102 years. Yay. Okay. And they are gearing up for Easter. So, you know, they have prepared 4 million chocolate Easter eggs in time for the holiday. Workers at the at the Seas Candies South San Francisco factory have been hard at work for months now making these eggs with various fillings like Bordeaux, vanilla buttercream, uh, peanut butter, and uh -huh. while popular smaller size eggs can be made in minutes, the larger ones take more time and are decorated by hand. Did you guys know that? No. Didn't That's know. insane. No You're idea. saying four million little baby eggs are decorated by hand? No. The bigger ones. I said the, oh, the larger ones. The larger ones, ones yes. <laughs> the was about larger to fall ones. Out. Anyways, guys, let us know what you are doing for Easter and uh, make sure to stop by your Seas Candies to, you know, support all the hard work yeah, that goes and, into that. Enjoy them. your Easter out Absolutely. there, guys. It's the Baker Boys right here. 102 Jams, 100% throwbacks. All right, hour number two, top five list. Tell me of the day what uh, the F news. For those who are watching on Instagram, you're seeing behind the scenes. We're recording our syndicated daily Which show that airs on 30 stations around the country, including <coughs> mornings in San Francisco and also uh, Las Vegas every day. Uh, the history of deeply on. rooted in the history of whatever that is. Easter, a uh, pagan goddess. Yes, of course. Every holiday is pagan. Yep. Let's look go. at it. It's like right. Halloween. Fucking Easter, yes. What what are we doing here? It's a rando. Rando. I got one. Okay. You start. It's a feel good Friday. Don't forget later in the show, Nick V's gonna be dropping that mouth love oh today, yes, guys. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Well, it's the weekend, and um, I know we all go out on the weekends and have some drinks sometimes with our friends. Well, I have a location for you if you are in Florida where you can have a shot and get slapped at the same time for <laughs> one price. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy it's the baker boys eric v nick v and ari rose right here so you're talking about taking a shot and getting slapped at the same same place talk about a slap shot oh, okay i know okay. you don't i know you don't drink eric but I if don't. you were ever to have a drink i would love to take you to this one place oh no no so a bartender in fort lauderdale has built a business selling shots and then slapping the drinker ah, this sounds like what happens in mexico this I, is what they do right I, yeah they well, do it no, all the time well they, they don't slap they you shake they shake your, your head, head. Yeah. it's the yeah. same thing that's no. different no, slap and no, shake is two slap different things, and a bro. Shake is, no, <laughs> yeah. Clearly, he's never had a drink and no. had his head shaken. No. Uh, Ayana, Kay Ayana Kayas, who calls herself Hurricane Ayana, Ooh. sells the shots for thirty dollars. Oh man, I mean, that's a steep price, right? Come on, bro. But it includes a theatrical slap across the face that supposedly doesn't hurt much. The whole ordeal ends with Ayana dumping a pitcher of water on the drinker's head, and for a few extra bucks, Ayana spins. Does a matrix style back end or hits you with a combination of slaps? Nice. Wow. <laughs> this sounds like fun. This sounds like a nice Saturday night <laughs> right here. I mean, you, you know? and the homies, you're out there at Fort Lauderdale Beach. You just, why not? Let's do a slap why and a not? shot. Slap shots. A slap shot. Yeah. yeah. So Somebody sh film it. Put it on Instagram. Hey, you know what? Shout out to Ayanna, though, because that's what you call creative, creative. marketing yeah. and starting something that uh, people she want that's up, not out there. She came up with an idea to get extra money out of you. 30 bucks a shot. She could buy it. An entire bottle for 30 bucks of whatever yeah, alcohol you want. Exactly. I wonder how many slaps she does a night. 
At you know? ten, that's three hundred. Okay. What yeah. you maybe you should be the the slap shot bartender. I don't drink, so you don't need a drink. You don't need a drink. You it need to give them a shot and slap them. I, I know, but I actually have to be able to make a good drink too, as well. No, it's a shot. Okay. 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 <laughs> well, see, I don't drink. <laughs> I don't know. You but just look, pour one liquor into as, a oh, shot glass. I can, do, grumpy, I can do that. As grumpy as you are, you can let out a lot of aggression slapping Very people. True. They should be paying you. Very yeah. true. Thank you. Wow, we got a side gig. Yes. For Eric. It's the Make a Boy. Daily. All right. The Easter Bunny is slapping fools this year. <laughs> Yo, what up, Lit Dad? Uh, Lit Dad, did you get my uh, message? Did you get my DM or my my whisper? What up, Salvi? Good morning. You got one? Or I yeah, got one. I got one. Here we go. go. All right. Eric, V, you're going to start this. Yeah. Hold on. This is for the ladies. Go. It's the Baker Boys Daily. Eric V, Nick V, Ari Rose right here. It's Feel Good Friday, guys. The weekend is here. It's Easter weekend. Mm -hmm. What's going on, Nick V? Well, NASA is picking the latest woman to be an astronaut. Oh! Woman from California. We're oh. going to pick her up. So stay tuned for that. Hold on. 102 Jams. 100% throwbacks. I was about to say hoes. Catch the Baker Boys daily on twitch.tv slash the Baker Boys. You know, sometimes I just have to stop myself because I think things, and, you know, in this day and age, you got to watch everything that comes out of your mouth. Or goes into the, it. The, yeah, that's true. The words and all that stuff like that. So I almost said something about space and the women, and I said, um, I thought all about right, it, but I'll right. stop Eric myself. Eric V, stop himself from being I a man. I stopped myself. Look at you. All right, NASA is picking a woman to be the latest astronaut. Yay! She's from California. She's the newest astronaut astronaut. Her name is Denise uh, Burham, and she survived a pool of more than 12,000 applicants in wow. just this month. Okay. So the space agency moved her into the final pool of 12, 10 Americans and two from the United Am uh, Arab Emirates. And uh, you see San Diego is announcing the newly minted astronaut with praise, saying that Burnham earned a bachelor's degree in chemical engineering at the University of California, San Diego, Jacobs School of Engineering. Congratulations to Denise Burham. Yep. Wow, that is so amazing. Seeing like women elevate and start taking some of these roles that have been dominated by yes, male yes. by men for so many you know decades. Move on, guys. Ari, if you could go to space, would you go to space? Absolutely not. No. <laughs> no. Why? Not? Why? No. Why? Why? What they, don't they have in space that you need so much? I I don't need anything from space. Like I'm fine. I can like sit on my porch and look up at wow. the sky and just enjoy it from afar. <laughs> okay. I Leave just wave at the little <laughs> aliens over there. So no, they're like, not going. Pew, pew, pew. You All know, right. I talk to them from afar. We're good. Congratulations, but, yes. Denise Burnham. She is the latest astronaut for NASA. Yep. Thank you, Lit Dad. Got you. Two SF locals. Uh, okay. Uh, let me Let's see. Go. Let me. Okay, never mind. She's got some. You start, Nick B. Yes, y'all, it's one of two gems, 100% throwback. Sorry, Rose, good morning. Good morning. I am so excited. I'm such a donut queen. You're a donut king, Nick. No, 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 no. You bro. always bring donuts. I, that doesn't mean that I eat them. I bring them for y'all fatties. Wait a minute. What? Yeah. He's only brought there. donuts like one time. Twice, 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 twice. Okay, but you can't say two times. Uh, it Makes me a donut king. A donut king that brings donuts all the time. I well, think because it, he, whenever he's brought something, it's donuts. What have you brought? I, I don't bring anything, exactly. just the attitude. Attitude. <laughs> Grumpiness. Attitude. The fire in the morning. <laughs> well, Krispy Kreme donuts will soon be available at McDonald's. Oh, more oh. fat stuff I'm available on the run. I'm excited about that because it's hard to find Krispy Kreme donuts. Is it? Yeah. But they I mean, have them in 7-Eleven. They have them in uh, yeah, Ralph's. But they're like soggy. Oh, okay. Well, you need them fresh I mean, fresh you have to hot. get them fresh. But I think it's good because sometimes you just want, I mean, McDonald's are everywhere. So you'll be able to get a little donut yeah. through a drive through Do you think that's a good idea? I think, I think it's a terrible idea. It's probably going to be delivered. Like It's not going to be made fresh at McDonald's. So you're going to get a delivery timing thing as well. So it's not going to be as fresh as you want it to be. Wow. You just like bursted my bubble. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> really, Don't really get it twisted. I'm excited Some, about this. Somebody's got to deliver those donuts and they're not making them in the back wow. of McDonald's. So, well, right. I'm excited about having a McDonald's coffee with a Krispy Kreme donut. Well, good luck. I to think that. it's a perfect combination. All right. Well, you're excited about it. When does it start? Um, I next don't know. Year, it's like I, next it's year, like 2025 or 2026, yeah. something like that. Yeah, it's, it's a ways away. It's a ways away. Yeah. But look, I think it's the perfect thing for after the gym. Whoa, <laughs> you are crazy, bro. You can't do that. It's called balance, Eric and Nick. That, that is, that is do terrible. Do not shame my balancing act, okay? All right. <laughs> Anyways. Anyway, Ari is ex excited about this. It's the Baker Boys in the Morning, 102 Jams, 100%, 100 throwbacks. throwbacks. SF Local, Eric B. Yeah, I got something. 
Baker Boys in the morning time along with Ari Roses. 102 Jams, 100% throw biz eggs. All right, so we've heard these stories about old iPhones, like first-generation iPhones, the earliest versions of iPhones. So there was a sealed 4-gigabyte original iPhone. Try to guess how much it's sold for, guys. Just uh, guess. $5, what year? Uh, well, when it first came out. I don't know the year. Oh. Well, uh, two, 2007. Okay, 2007. Oh, wow. So almost 20 years old. Dang, iPhone's two, been around for that 2007. long? $5,000. Uh, how much? Ten. Ten thousand dollars, five thousand dollars. No, mm -hmm. hundred and thirty thousand dollars. Whoa! An original iPhone, four gigabyte storage, <laughs> uh, fetched one hundred thirty thousand dollars. I'm going to go to my storage at auction. Okay. Yeah, but they've got to be sealed. It can't just yeah, you know, it's have an old I iPhone yeah. that don't work and it's, is busted up and it's stuff. It's got to be sealed. Okay. Apple discontinued the four G variant on September fifth, two thousand seven, just two months after it after it was released. Since then, it had become a hot commodity in the collector community, with models previously auctioning for one hundred ninety thousand oh. and one hundred thirty three thousand. My question is. You're collecting these for what? Yeah. What are you yeah. going to do with them? Well, they know. This is going to collect more they, money. It's like a piece know. of art. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's like a technology piece of art. It's a yeah. physical piece of art, actually. It's oh. going to end up in a museum like it's next like a, to Michael Jackson's like shoes. His it's gloves. like a physical yeah. NFT, Nick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a real <laughs> NFT that you can actually exactly. look at, but you don't want to open it. Would you buy a four gigabyte iPhone for I'll that much money? I'll buy a four gigabyte Nano. Okay. You know, I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to tell you what. The person who's buying that knows what they're buying, and so I would probably follow that trend. <laughs> That's how right the there. rich get richer. <clears throat> anyway. If you can afford your money to just sit there in a box and go for it. Yeah, I exactly. guess so. Why not? It's the Maker Boys 102 Jams, 100% throwbacks. What up, Campo? Uh, yo, no diddy. <laughs> no diddy versus uh, Car uh <clears throat> Karina Lona, thank you for checking in. Hey guys, everybody on Instagram that is watching, this is what we're doing live on Twitch, but we're, we figured out a way to put it on Instagram as well. So you're watching our behind the scenes of what we're recording. No one cares about your collection, but you bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, we have hour number three, who teased for Baker Buzz? Uh, I, didn't, did. I didn't tease, but I, I'm gonna do a story anyway. Okay, uh, so you. We, uh, w that that okay. break about this was going too long. Oh, it is a Feel Good Friday with the Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the building. Later on in the show, Nick V will be dropping some mouth love, positive affirmations from my heart to yours. Oh, I'm starting? I, I thought she was going to go. She, Hold on, she, no, no, you both have something here. So yeah, I, don't I know, but goes. she usually goes next. And not really. It doesn't matter. Okay, so, I'll go. All right, here we go. My heart to yours. All right, come all right, coming up in the Baker Buzz, we're talking about Holly, Holly Berry. She recalls the doctor saying she had the worst case of herpes he'd ever seen, only to find out it was just pre-menopause. Wow, and 50 Cent reacts to Daphne Joy, the mother of his son, being accused in a lawsuit of being his sex worker. He's such a troll. Whoa. I love him. <coughs> so this is supposed to be birthday, so. All right, we'll just do a random break. Yeah. Just do a random break about whatever. Uh, just wishing everybody a great Easter weekend. Okay. They're good Friday. Very simple. It's yeah, good it's Good Friday. Friday, blah, blah, blah. Hey, it's the Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the building. Happy Good Friday. What is Good Friday yes. for those who do not know? Good Friday is a good Friday. <laughs> Ari Rose, you're wow. supposed to be my well, we, religious we, we person here. To, are we supposed to be talking about religion? We just talked like about that? Good Friday. That's a religious thing. I'm going to go find some eggs, guys. That's what I'm going to go do. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I can't with you. It's the Baker Boys Daily. <laughs> It's just a good Friday. Well, I mean, how deep do we want to go? I mean, religion? That's why. Everybody knows that. what Good Friday is. I don't know what it is. For those who do not know. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I have no clue what the fucking Good Friday is. You never No. Oh. I, I'm not from, I don't have a church background. We went to church back in the day, but I don't celebrate any things specifically. No. It's okay. Right. Move on. It, 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 go, it goes into a big, deep rabbit hole trying to explain Good Friday. Oh, right. really? <coughs> okay, here we go. Sorry. Need some water? I got water. You, you know how spit? I am in the morning sometimes. <laughs> Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the building for a Feel Good Friday. Coming up in your Baker Buzz, Eric. All right, Hollywood icon Halle Berry talking about her recent trip to a doctor where the doctor said she had the worst case of herpes he'd ever seen, but he was wrong. It was only just pre-menopause. Yeah, that was crazy. I saw that story. And 50 Cent, <laughs> uh, 50 Cent, of course, has reacted to his baby mama being accused of being Diddy's sex worker. All right. Well, wow, that's why you don't like him so much. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 102 Jams. 100% throwbacks. throwbacks. Hollywood and beyond. We specifically said no. 
the Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the building for a Feel Good Friday. 50 Cent, the troll, is actually being trolled. <laughs> well, he's not being trolled. No, he's he's not doing the trolling. trolling. Yeah, he's oh. trolling his ex. Oh. Yeah, so I don't know I don't know if you guys remember that uh, when Diddy was dating Young Miami, it was like the birthday, and she posted, mm-hmm. and then Daphne Joy, which is Diddy, uh, 50 Cent's baby mama, had posted, like, right. happy Why birthday would we to know my that? favorite person. Yeah, we because, wouldn't know that. Yeah, you would, because we talked about it on air. We did. Yes. So Daphne Joy apparently is an ex of 50 Cent. Yeah, that's his baby mama. Oh, his baby mama. mama. Yeah, that's Sire's mom. Yeah. And so, you know, even like the last couple weeks we've been talking about, why does 50 Cent troll Diddy so hard? Mm -hmm. Well, that makes sense. it just came out that Daphne Joy has been accused and that she's been named as being one of Diddy's sex workers along with Young Miami. Oh, that means she's a prostitute for Diddy the pimp. Exactly. And that's why 50 Cent is so upset. The two women, along with another named Jade Ramey, were allegedly paid a monthly fee to work for Diddy. Oh, they were on staff. Yes. They got a 401k <laughs> to hit Yo, that woo-woo. Oh, literally on a W-2, paying taxes on it and everything. Wow. Oh. So 50 Cent posted yesterday, or two days ago, whatever day it was, and he's under an umbrella in front of his Cadillac smoking a cigar, and his his uh, caption just says, I didn't know you were a sex worker, you little sex worker, LOL. He wow. says, Yo, this stuff is a movie yeah for sure yeah it's a mess it's definitely but, a mess but remember he's been talking about did he do it or did he not he's been talking about this for months now saying yeah. he's gonna come out with a movie or a series on the diddy a uh, documentary yeah, documentary he's known this was coming out right 50 has been on top of it and also he said that he was going to buy any anything or documents or sex tapes yep. that are going to be available for anybody yep. he will outbid anybody to get yep. these <laughs> Because he's probably going to do what you said. He'll make a documentary out of this whole situation. He knows a lot more. These people are so in, they know everything. Oh, yeah. So let's talk about Halle Berry. She reacts reacts to her doctor saying she had the worst case of herpes just to find out it was just pre-menopause. Wow. So Berry had known uh, known for many roles in many movies, Catwoman, Monster Ball, all this stuff right now. So she went to recall one day. She was having sex like normal. She recalled waking up in the morning. I go to the bathroom and guess what? I feel like I have razor blades in my. Meow. Wow. Yes. Wow. <laughs> After that's her scary. physician mistakenly diagnosed her with the worst case of herpes, Barry and Hunt underwent testing only to discover they did not have an STD. It was later revealed that uh, discomfort Barry experienced was actually a symptom of premenopause. That's nasty. Like, what kind of doctor is that? Right. To tell, so I would be. Livid if someone told me you have the worst case of herpes we have ever seen, right? And then it turns out it's menopause. Yeah. What kind of doctor are you? Yeah, so that is scary. That is terrible. I and... never want to get menopause. <laughs> no. Well, I hope you never do. Nick. Yeah, no. we'll, we'll have a different uh, <laughs> dynamic if you do, Nick. For sure. So... <laughs> oh my anyway, God. that is your bake of buzz, guys. <laughs> Two S M. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Uh, SF locals. Um, um, all right. Oh, let's see. All right, I guess I'm okay. Ready? What up, Lyon? Thank you for checking in. Go for it. It's the Baker Boys in the morning. One two jams, of course. Hundred percent throwbacks. Baker Boys every day, six ten a.m. Has anybody seen the blue sea creatures that are washing up on the Bay Area beaches? Blue sea creatures. Yes, I saw. I that. haven't seen those. Well, you haven't seen one like up close and personal. And we yeah. don't know what they are yet. They, they, they're they creatures of some sort. They're yeah, not f- and they're washing up. Yeah, so they're out there. Thousands of small sea creatures are invading the Bay Area beaches. Oh, wow. And we don't know what the hell they're coming from. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. Oh, but she's Googling it right you now. Know, I'm <laughs> small you, hear, you hear her little nails tapping on the, on the, the because, keyboard. Because, you know, I'm like queen of, um, yeah, Google. they're just like these little bizarre things. But my thing is like... Um, I know they're coming up, but like, why are so many creatures starting to wash up? Because you, it's not only just this time, but why? even in the world, there's more pollution. And I mean, the, the the ocean is pollution, <laughs> polluted. Well, That's I know, why. but I think it's like so crazy when you see like thousands in an area just getting washed up at once. It's so sad. It's biblical. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the end times are here. Oh, I don't want to scare start, anybody. Don't start with this, man. <laughs> yeah. Well, Come the blue on. sea creatures, we don't even know what they are. They're uh, not even fish. They're yeah. not even naming them. Yeah. So so that what does that tell you? They're coming in from a different part of the ocean that we mm-hmm. don't even know about. It's Good Friday, y'all. Pull your Bibles out. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's time. 102 Jams, 100% throwbacks.
This the fly is like, Motherfucking what? fly, bro. I see him right here. See Just it? going there. Boom, diddy down, diddy down, down, die. He's on the light. <laughs> he needs a good alibi. You gonna die today. Right there. How are you going to kill it? He's right there, Nick. I want to see. All right, He's we're on gonna, that light. We're gonna watch, light. We're going to watch Nick V kill the fly. There's a fly in here in the studio. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Oh, there it goes. He's Ditch Party 98. What up, man? Right. Right here. Here he is. There he is. Just open the door. Get the son of a bitch out of here. Just chew him out. Did you get him? There he is again. He's a brave one. He's a brave one. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I, got, I got a hit on him. He, he, he's dazed right he's now? Dazed, <laughs> yeah. He's right now. Uh, not right now. Not the second. There, uh, I just seen him. There he is. There he is. God damn! I felt Ari's that like, come so Ari's, close. Ari's like, uh, Jesus. Stick and move. Stick and move. Uh, nothing much, man. We're doing our daily show, our syndicated daily show, guys. Hi, everyone. Uh, DJ, what's it? Oh, Raptor Soldiers here. Raptor soldier. You know, I know you're on live on the Baker Boys. I wonder, can you, um, no, we'll do it a different day. But you see how there's, a, that's the, the Instagram, right? Yes, yeah. Instagram's on the right. So, you know, you can add like my page and then it'll be like half and half. What do you mean? You ever seen when people do a live? I mean, uh, not for today. We could do it I don't think time. it'll work. Not for this particular not, it, setup. It, it won't work for this because no. this is not on my phone. This is through OBS. It's if different. you guys were going live from your Instagrams yeah. together, then it oh, would work. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah. All right, here we go. Uh, SF Local. Um, I'm trying to find something here. You guys have any randos? I thought you had a bunch of stuff. No, I yeah. didn't say I had a bunch of stuff. I yeah, said I had, I had you... some old stuff that I hadn't used yet. We'll bring it up. All right. Uh, uh... Okay. All right, got something. Yeah, y'all Baker boys in the building for a feel good Friday. It's one or two jams, one hundred percent throwbacks. <laughs> okay, so guys, you guys are in a long term relationships. Okay, so you sleep with your wife. Your your boyfriend is uh -huh. he's traveling. He's going to different countries and working, and you don't get to see him all the time. All right. But do you enjoy the silence when he's not there, or do you? How about you, Nick V? If, if your significant other is not home. Don't put me on the spot like uh, that, I'm bro. I'm just asking. <laughs> Hell, I don't want to answer this question. His wife is, My wife is in the chat. Twitch because right <laughs> the reason I ask you, because a whopping 82% of Americans admit their partner's sleeping habits consistently wake them up during the night. And as a result, 36% appreciate not having to share the bed with their partner when they're not home. Nah, man. I want my wife in my bed. I want to know she's at. I want to know the noises she's making. And she's going to be making them next to me. <laughs> so it doesn't bother Wait a you, huh? I, I got to go back to, I want to know where she's at. What does that mean exactly? I mean, because <laughs> that, sounds, that sounds very controlling. No, it controlling. doesn't. Controlling? Yes. No. That's if, if you're in love and you're in a, you're in a marriage, you want to know where your wife is or your husband is at all times. Yeah. If they're, if they're, if they're not sleeping in your bed, what? What better than sleeping at? Right, I, I get it. <laughs> or a couch, for that matter. She could be. She could have fell asleep on the couch. But I, when I wake up in the middle of the night, I'm like, "Where's my wife? Where's right. my baby?" Yeah. And 48 percent of the respondents say that their sleep quality, sleep sleep quality, improves when they're snoozing in a bed alone versus their with their partner. Listen, it's true. My boyfriend <laughs> will literally wake up in the middle of the night and he's like, "Babe, I'm gonna go get water." I'm like, what is he okay, gonna tell you? Go get water. Why is he gonna tell you? <laughs> he just like, you know, like when he gets up to you, like, you know, you do hear people moving around. So when you're used to being alone, yeah, yeah, okay. then you hear noises. I yeah, you're gonna that. wake up. Yeah, but, uh, but I like both. You like both, right? Yeah. Well, sometimes I hear her wake up, and I'll, you know, it'll wake me up a little bit. It doesn't bother me, but yeah. she doesn't announce to me what she's going to get done. <laughs> I mean, okay, my boyfriend is doing it every night, but he has done it. Like, I'm going to get Tylenol. Like, oh okay, my God. Go Sound the alarm, bro. Good luck. It's right over there, homie. Let me like, sleep. All right, baby. <laughs> Spend up two jams. 100% throwbacks. All right. Hour number four. Hour number four. All right. Um,. Bring it on, Eric V. You said you had some stuff. <laughs> I, right, I got the best record store. Here we go. All right. Baker Boys Daily, Eric V, Nick V, and Ari Rose. Don't forget, later in the show, Nick V's dropping mouth love. Yeah, this hour, later on this hour. So yeah. stay tuned for that. Positive affirmations from my heart to yours. We all need them going into the weekend. Do you know that there's a record store day? 
Record what? store day. Yeah, yeah. Nobody even knows what where no. record stores are, right? I, I know, yeah, what, of a course we know what a record is. store is. All right, Rel. So guess what? Record day is coming up next month. And if you're in love with vinyl, your road trip may be the thing to do. Go and check out these record stores. We'll tell uh. you the list of the best record stores coming up next. All right. Cool. TV slash the Boys. All right, guys, if you're a collector of records right now, Nick V's going to drop the best, I guess, rated record stores because <sighs> record day is coming up. Yeah, man. People still buy wax. Yep. I mean, our careers were started off of going to record stores, mm -hmm. listening to these said records for yep. hours, yep. and maybe spending, you know, anywhere from $75 to $100. No, we spent more than that. Anywhere from two to three to $400 at, at a pop. All right, so if you're still spending money on records, there are some record stores that you may need to make a road trip for. All right. Go to Amoeba Music. It's a California favorite, and mm -hmm. they just remodeled. It's a whole new thing. They changed locations. It's beautiful. It's big. It's huge. Electric Fetus. I like that name. Oh. Minneapolis, Minnesota. Uh, another record store is Easy Street Records and Cafe in Seattle. In Seattle. Okay. Waterloo is another record store in Austin, Texas. Austin, Texas is a big city for music. Reckless in Chicago. We okay. love house music. That's where mm -hmm. it's from. Is go to Reckless and get your wax. And finally, Grimy's new and pre-loved music in East Nashville. Those are a list of record stores that are out there. Record record day is coming up next month, so go get your wax that and support so cool. these people, right? The wax is really coming back. The sales mm -hmm. of, of wax is, is a physical thing. It's not a streaming thing. You can actually feel it, touch it, smell it, read it, so on and so forth. So go We're and going get your back to basics, honey. That's yeah. right. Baker Boys Daily. Is this the tease? No, this is two locals, this right? This is two locals. What you got? Um, All right, I got one. All right. <coughs> I'll Eric start. B? Yep. It is 102 Jams on a Feel Good Friday. Of course, Easter weekend, 100% throwbacks. Yes. Baker Boys in the Morning, your brand new morning show. So you know I'm a lover of all people, but I am a fan and a cheerleader when women are doing amazing things. Yes. Yeah, we and were talking we, about a uh, new woman going to space, right? Yes, the, the she got appointed NASA. in NASA, yeah. yeah. Well, Napa County welcomes first ever all-women board of supervisors. Hey! How hey. cool so, is that? That's cool. The three elects will serve alongside supervisors Joelle, Gallagher and Anne Cottrell. So this is super cool. It's five women who, you know, have become a board of supervisors. Mm -hmm. And I think it's important. Like, All together. It's a book club. It is not a book club. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, so what are the powers that we can expect from these five women together in Napa? Uh, five women together, period, is powerful. All right, no so they're, what they're not going to kick us out of the wineries, are they, men? Well, <laughs> no boys allowed. <laughs> That's, what I'm saying. That's all I'm worried that about. That is where we're going to go find some peace. Right. Are you, are you guys <laughs> going to still allow us to yes. play with, you know, to yes. be part of the play games? So shout out to Amber Manfrey, Liz Alessio, Belia Ramos, who have now, who have now joined the other two ladies, Joelle and Anne. You so go, ladies. Congratulations, yeah. Do gals. your damn thing right there. It's 102 Jams, 100% throwbacks. It is so hard to remember 100% throwbacks. <laughs> yeah. You have it written on your thran thran. I know, but I have to have it like up. All right. Mm. So this is another SF local. Uh, SF local. Let me see. I'm trying to think of what else that I did. Just uh, other thing. It's subject matter that we can talk about here. Um, uh, it's the weekend. Right. We got Feel Good Friday. We got the. Uh, we can talk about Easter. Oh, coming hold up. on. Huh? Easter events in oh, I got some. SF. I got something. Okay, Nick's got something. Let's oh, you go. bring those up if you find something. Yeah. No, yep. I'll start something. <clears throat> I got Nick's one something. already. Eric, you start? Yeah. It's a Feel Good Friday right here at the Baker Boys 102 Jams, 100% throwbacks. Earlier in the week, my wife um, shouted out to me. She's like, We got invited to an Easter. What is it? A throwdown? Soiree. Okay. What, what do you call it? It's an Easter gathering. Yeah, a barbecue. Okay. Okay. And uh, I was like, I don't. Want, I don't know if I want to go. I don't want to commit to this. They're trying to find out, you know, uh, like a head count, so oh, they mm. can get find yeah. out how much meat. Yeah. But it's a potluck as well. Oh. And the thing that really interests me is that there is a guacamole contest. That I will be entering this weekend. Wait, you're gonna you're gonna make guacamole for this? Oh yeah, I'm a great guacamole maker. Okay. What do you put in it? 
guacamole. We well, we're gonna start with avocados, obviously. Right. That's the main ingredients. Yes. You're gonna do some salt, some pepper, some salsa. Uh, you're gonna chop up some uh, tomatoes. You put salsa in your guacamole. Yes, that's my secret oh. ingredients. A little red salsa, spicy red salsa up in there. People won't even know what's coming. Lime. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't gonna see me coming, are we? Ah, so you gotta put some lime in there, and okay. you gotta, you know, uh, to taste, and you gotta taste it, and it's, it's gotta oh. be spicy, it's gotta be guacamole. -y. Well, <laughs> I love that you have plans, and you're excited for this guacamole. For those out there listening, yes, uh, if you don't have plans, there's a free children's Easter egg hunt in San Francisco, hey um, Unity in San Francisco on Sunday from 1:30 to 4:30, and there's also a Easter parade and egg hunt in Sausalito, okay, uh, at Dunphy Park Saturday. 10 to 12 and one more thing for those of you uh meet the easter bunny sunday 10 a.m to 1 p.m at the san francisco zoo so lots of things you can go on there and if there is some if you're not in san francisco area maybe you're more south bay you can go on google and find this event right has a lot of events free events for you and your family to go join i, I have a question going back to the guacamole real quick because <laughs> it is easter easster weekend right. will you put eggs in it by any chance no, you don't put eggs in This is as another goodness. extra secret ingredient, maybe? You know, maybe some <sighs> egg yolk, and I'll just mix it in. You won't even know it's in there. Some it's protein. Get, little protein. It might give you a little extra kick or something. I don't know. Get you all buff. Eric v, you don't cook. I don't. Why are you trying to I'm just help asking. me out? I mean, I'm trying to get I'm trying to get you in the in the festive mood for Easter weekend. I, I'm already winning, bro. All right. I, I'm going to come right. back with that guacamole prize. I'll let you know what happens on Monday, y'all. 102 Jams, 100% throwbacks. Yo, what up, Keith Shockley in the it building? It's so no weird way. doing this with like. What's no up, Keith? How you music? doing, sir? This house done. I mean, <clears throat> uh, f uh, uh, feel good. For, I mean, uh, mouth love teas, right? Yep. <clears throat> All right. Well, the weekend is here, party people. It is time to drop that mouth love. Coming up, Nick V will be dropping words of affirmation. So yes. you want to listen to those words and heed those words for the Easter weekend. It's coming up next. Stay tuned. Baker Boys Daily. 102 jams. 100% throwbacks. Do that more time, please. 102 jams. 100% throwbacks. throwbacks. Baker, Baker, Baker Boys Daily. Hey, it's the Baker Boys right now. Shout out to Sally Porsche tuned in. VIP Funk One. Of course, Keith Shockley checking us out right now. All right, so it is the weekend party, people. It is time for that mouth love. What is mouth love, Nick V, exactly? Positive affirmations from my heart to yours, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to... Change the molecules in All your right. body, in your area, wherever you are right now. Please take a deep Go breath in. It. Hold it. Hold it. Oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> Blow it out. <laughs> One more time. We're going to take it in and we're going to hold it, okay? Hold it. Right up there on top. I didn't say let it go yet, man. Oh. Oh, you guys don't follow directions very well. Sorry. Mexicans. <laughs> wow. All right. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Repeat after me, please. Here we go. Here we go. Life is a gift. Life, Life is, is a gift. gift. Peace is what I choose. Peace, Peace is, is what, what I, I choose. choose. Love over hate. Love, Love over hate. hate. I allow abundance to flow through me. I allow, I allow abundance, abundance to flow through me. me. I want you to feel that one more time. I allow abundance to flow through me. I allow, I allow abundance, abundance to flow through me. me. All right, well, let's just talk about that for a hot second. Congratulations, number one. You're in mouth love, ladies yes. and gentlemen. You made it. Uh -huh. If you allow abundance to flow through you, that means that you don't hold on to things like they're going to be going away. Let's say, for instance, you get a thousand yep. dollar check. You're going to hold on to it because what? Oh, for a rainy day. Well, guess what? This is your chance and your opportunity to allow that abundance to flow through you. There's somebody in your life that needs that thousand dollars probably more than you do. Right. Yeah. Think about that. Like yeah. somebody's brakes went out. You know what well, I mean? Somebody's this went out. Some, what? I mean, uh, money is it comes from currency, right? It current. is currency. So it's yes. current. So that's energy. It's so the law it of the water, ladies exactly. and gentlemen. Exactly. So maybe somebody's got to pay child support. They need that $1,000 for that. Well. <laughs> that's not thank funny. You, thank, you hey. for, thank you for mouth love, Nick. Yeah, yeah, thank you, Nick V. Pick Shout up. out to DJ EVP checking us out. Alanette Network uh, checking us out. Unique the MC as well. VIP Funk and everybody tuned on in. We will catch you on Mad Magnificent Monday right here on the Baker Boys Daily. All right. Is it Magnificent Monday it's or Manifest? Manifest? I changed Monday. it. I changed it that day. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I changed it. I fucked up. All right. This is promo. What you guys got? I got uh, mouth love. I have. Uh, All I want to do for my birthday is everyone go I check my new The Baker Boys. The Baker Boys with your daily fix of fun. It's yeah. a feel good Friday, ladies and gentlemen. They, uh, Didn't you just tell me to start? No. <laughs> with your daily fix of fun. It's a feel good Friday with the Baker Boys. I got that mouth love. Positive affirmations from my heart to yours. 
A bartender in Fort Lauderdale has built a business selling shots and then slapping the drinker. Yeah, Ari wants to take me there so she can slap me and No, I want shot. you to slap people oh, so you can want release me to slap your people. grumpiness yeah, I, and I'll, make I'll money. Do, I'll do that. Why not? Yes, Steph Local, you can start. This what up, Sky High? Fix of fun. It is 102 Jams, 100% throwbacks. Of course, the Baker Boys in the morning, your brand new morning show every single day, 6 to 10 a.m. So one bartender in fart... In, <laughs> one bartender... Fart Lauderdale! Fart Lauderdale. <laughs> Go ahead, keep going. So a bartender in Fort Lauderdale has built a business selling shots and then slapping the drinker. All right. It's going to cost you 30 bucks as well. Also, <laughs> later on in the show, also today in the show, we have mouth love, positive affirmations from my heart to yours. You need it going into the weekend. Let's get it in. One or two jams. 100% throwbacks. I know, right, Sally? I'm always getting interrupted. Where is Sally saying this at? Uh, right here, fool. Oh, well, there's like shit everywhere. Yes, Today. exactly. And also, <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger revealed. There's stuff everywhere. We got right. chats here, chats there. All right. Um, I got zip codes. All right. So let me see. I got my Baker Buzz for the next one. Let me see what I'm going to do for while well, Nick B sets that up. Uh, make a buzz, make a buzz. I, I have a lot of topics, but the problem is there's sound bites that are saying certain things that we could comment off of, but I don't think we can do that. Um, I mean, we'd have to record this shit. You know what I mean? Remix, what up? Uh, we need to where do that is before unique? The show. What? We need to do that stuff before the show, before we start the stream. You know how hard that is? You know how long that's going to take to well, do? We can't do it like as we're doing the show. All right, whatever. I'm just telling you, I have information, but I can't use it. <laughs> I have a lot of information, but I can't use it. Let me go to my, uh, let me go to my Twitter and see what I have bookmarked because I always have different stuff bookmarked there than I do on. Um, <clears throat> okay. uh, you say you have a Baker Buzz for this hour, so we'll go with that. Three twenty nine four one. It's a new month, April first. Party people. Damn, there's another one with Miley Cyrus with a soundbite. Oh, I got something here. This is funny. All right, Ari, you got your Baker bus for Manifest Monday. Yep, let's go. The Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the building. It's a new month, April 1st. Is, it, is that April Fool's Day? Yeah. Today's yes. April Fool's Day. Yeah. Today is April oh, Fool's Day. Son of a guy. And it's also rent is due day. Right? Uh, <laughs> well, shocking new details emerge of Rebel Wilson's allegations against... Shocking new details emerge of Rebel... Oh my God, Rebel. Rebel, yeah. Shocking new details emerge of Rebel Wilson's allegations against Sasha Baron. Baron. Sasha Baron Cohen. 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 Shit. <laughs> Let's do that again. Why is that so hard? <laughs> Let's do it again. Let's try this one again. Sasha <laughs> Baron Cohen. Sasha, Sasha Baron. Baron Cohen. Okay. Sasha Baron Cohen. Here we go. <laughs> it's a Manifest Monday okay. with the Baker Boys and Ari Rose. Do not get full today. It is also April Fool's Day. Yes, and rent is due today, guys. That's it is right. not a joke. Rent. Well, coming up on Baker Buzz today, shocking new details emerge of Rebel Wilson's allegations against Sasha Baron Cohen. All right. And also, about a week ago, I was talking about these uh, police departments that were using Lego heads on uh, potentially... What is the, what's the word I'm looking for? Back to the music with those oh. Baker Boys. What's the word I'm looking for? Criminals? Wanted people. Yeah, wanted people. Okay, wanted criminals. Just find a punch for me. For wanted criminals, but now Lego has banned California police from using the Lego heads to hide the suspect's identities. Can they do that? Yeah. Coming up next. They own them. In the Baker Buzz. Thank you, Grimace. All right. This is National Days. Uh, rent is due. Boo boo is. <laughs> Here we go. National Days. Baker Boys and Ari Rose for a Manifest Monday, also April Fool's Day. Oh, yeah. Where did this trick come from? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but I do miss it because we used to really do some great uh, April Fool's jokes. Yeah, when on radio, the radio was really great. Yeah, but mm. you can't do it anymore. Before Nipplegate. Yes. Yes, exactly. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. It's the Baker Boys Daily. Thank you for tuning in. Slep Rock. What's up, Slep Breezy? Nick V, Eric V, the Baker B-O-Y-Z up in the building. Coming up in the Baker Buzz. Ari Rose. Shocking new details are coming out of Rebel Wilson's allegations against Sasha Baron Cohen. <laughs> That's fine. 
<laughs> and Lego is putting its square foot down on California police for using Lego heads to hide suspects' identities. It's 102 jams. 100% throwbacks. Hollywood and beyond. We specifically said. All right, now it's time for your Baker Buzz. It happens twice a day, hour one and hour number three. Let's first go with the cops that are in trouble from the Legos. Yeah, so Lego has put their foot down. They're saying no longer can California police use the Lego heads to hide suspects' identities. So this is, uh, they were doing this like a week ago or something like that. They were taking wanted pictures of, of uh, they got, there's a new California law that has to protect somebody's ID. So they were putting Lego heads on these pictures of wanted people. Mm-hmm. So Lego said, no more, no. It's not happening. Mm, yeah, they, good for them. They expressed their concerns over unauthorized use of their intellectual property. Yeah. The department has been photoshopping Lego heads on suspects in mugshots and arrest photos and often accompanied humorous humorous captions. Well, look, think about it. Legos is a child brand, right? For, no, it's like yeah. for kids. Yeah, yeah, and you're putting this on you're putting these he- Lego heads on people who are committing crimes. Right. I mean, it's just like uh yeah, but you've seen the Lego movie. They have Lego movies, and they're kind of like sometimes they, they make some little uh, brash comments here and there that go above the but, children's head. But that's coming from Lego themselves. Well, this well, is yes, something I, without permission. I get it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I agree with Lego. I'd be kind of pissed too. All right. Well, listen, let me tell you something. These guys are making fun of me because I cannot spit out Sasha, Sasha Baron, Baron Cohen. Cohen. You know, Cohen. I'm Mexican. No, no Cohen. <laughs> I'm Mexican. I want to call him Sasha Barron Cohen. That's okay? fine. Let's That's do that. fine. Do that. So, I like that a lot better. And, and this is, I'm struggling. Okay, I'm struggling here, guys. So this is why they call him SBC. We're gonna just call okay. him SBC. So shocking new details have emerged about Rebel Wilson's allegations against him huh. in her memoir. So excerpts from the book have been released, and it sheds lights on details about Wilson's alleged experience with this gentleman. Right when they filmed back in 2014. Okay. Well, apparently, she said that SBC would keep requesting her to go, quote unquote, naked in a scene. What? She Mm. wrote, it felt like every time I'd speak to him, he'd mention that he wanted me to go naked in a future scene. He was just trying to make her uncomfortable. And I was like, ha, I don't do nudity, Sasha. Wilson alleges that things then intensified while they were filming a scene in Cape Town at a soccer stadium. She says, quote, SBC summons me via production assistant saying I'm needed to film an additional scene. Okay, I said, okay, well, where are we going to film this extra scene? Then he pulls his pants down. SBC says, very matter-of-factly, okay, now I want you to stick your finger up my mm. And I'm like, what? No. (laughs) Wilson then continues to allege in the book, quote-unquote, I was now scared. I wanted to get out of there, so I finally compromised. I slapped him in the behind and improvised a few lines as the character, end quote. Wow. That's interesting. All right, so you know who this guy is, right? Sasha Barrico. Yes. All right, so yeah, he's irreverent. He does crazy, crazy things. Yeah. Uh, and he films it and he puts it out, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, but um, that seems a little over uh, the line. Yeah, a little over the line. Yeah. I want you to put your finger in my. That's some mm-hmm. private time stuff. That's some Diddy behind the scenes stuff. Well, he's doing it Diddy in front of the scenes. In front of the scenes. So yeah. the memoir is coming out, and yeah. she said that she's been in, uh, contacted by lawyers and PR people yep. trying to get her to stop. Mm-hmm. All right, so this guy is well, an- another Hollywood jerk. Well, I'm just saying, if if he did it or he asked it, then why is he trying to stop it? He already he did it. You know, he requested this supposedly. Well, because I think a lot of people think no one's gonna get the. It's not gonna get out there. You do it by intimidation. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. you try to intimidate. Why? Why are all these people coming out with Diddy and everyone's like, why didn't you say nothing before? Well, because right. I was afraid or I didn't want to deal. I don't want to become a victim of something. Nobody wow. wants to be a victim. All right, coming up in the next make a buzz, Nick V. What do you got? Playing a cop on the playing a cop on the big screen does playing the cop playing a cop on the big screen does not get Will Smith out of a speeding ticket. He got caught. I'll tell you how oh, it did. I'll bad tell you boys what. for life. Yeah, yeah, for real. <laughs> All right, two SF locals. All right. Um, let me see here. Let me see. Uh, I'm gonna do shout outs on the zip codes and. Okay, I got one. You got something to talk about? Okay, ready. So Baker Boys in the morning, 102 jams, 100% throwbacks, of course, every day, 6 to 10 a.m. It's your brand new morning show. Shout out to 95127 tuned in. Also, 94806 and 94030 all tuned up, crossing the bridge or wherever you're going, on the BART, on the bus, whatever. Or <laughs> are there aut- autonomous cars still driving out here right now? Yeah. 
for the time being. <laughs> yeah. I was like, dang, you're saying hi to a lot of people well, right I got, now. I got to shout people out, man. They're listening. Yes, They're tuned everyone in. in the Bay. Yeah. Good morning. Oh, and then I thought about a really cool idea that I was telling Nick that yeah. I, I want to just throw it out right now. So what I'm going to start doing or what we're going to start doing is taking certain zip codes and shouting them out. And if the first five people hit us up, when we shout out that zip code, we're going to give them a free Baker Boys shirt, a like limited edition collector's item shirt. Oh, that's cool. So that'll be cool. That's a cool idea. Yeah. I thought you were going to talk about I something. I did, but I mean, I feel what we're like. No, it's not that long. Okay. Well, um, so Eric, I know you are single. When you go on yeah. dates, do I don't you go feel on dates. like. I don't go on dates. You don't. I thought you like have sex with women. That doesn't, doesn't mean happen. he got to go on a date. Yeah, I don't so, go on a date. <laughs> so they just come to your house? I ain't got to go on a date, bro. <laughs> delivery. You ever heard of you don't <laughs> Uber Eats? <laughs> what did you just say delivery? Delivery service, <laughs> homie. You <laughs> said Uber Eats. <laughs> yeah, I just go on DoorDash and order me a female, Nick Wait, That's what that's I do. <laughs> well, he said he doesn't go on dates, but he does have sex. So that means they're coming over to the house. Right. And bringing food. I'll go to dinner, but it's like, it's not a date. It's not considered a date. I'll what is your question, you, Ari? You, yeah, please. <laughs> what is the question? No, because this is funny now. Wait, so do you um like eat with these people before oh, you yeah. have sex? Uh, no, not all the time. <laughs> <laughs> is, is, is that what you're used to, Ari? You know we got to eat before we have sex. <laughs> I mean, when I was in the dating realm, yeah. I'm like, not you dating, had to though. court me. I you gotta, only date gotta, somebody that I'm interested in listen, in a long term relationship. My, my story and my question was because apparently dating is getting expensive, so it's stressing people out. So Dude. I wanted to know if like dates were expensive. Hold but on. you just super, immediately said. It's super expensive. When I go eat by myself, it's anywhere from thirty to forty five dollars by myself. By, by myself. All right, let's continue. Okay. Stay tuned. Coming up next, we're gonna tell you why dating is stressing everybody out. Oh. One or two jams. One hundred percent throwbacks. One or two jams. Hundred percent throwbacks. Why do you say it so fast? It's like you're just dying to spit it out. No, I'm getting it out. <laughs> like why hundred percent throwbacks? You don't need. Well, a some date people to don't get even laid. remember what it is. Lit Dad says you don't need the date to get laid. Thank you, Thank you Lit Dad. Lit Dad. Thank you. It is one hundred two jams, one hundred percent throwbacks with the Baker Boys and I Rose in the morning time. Ari stirred up a pot of bees earlier. <laughs> Let by trying say. to ask the question about Eric V going on dates and how much it costs him. Right. Does it stress him? How uh, expensive it is. Yeah. Apparently, people going on dates are being very stressed out because of the high cost of going on a date. Right. Yeah. Right. Lid Dad says uh, in our chat, you don't need to date to get laid, Spe Ari. Especially these Facts. days. <laughs> well, she's. Yeah. So apparently, dating can be pretty pricey. As a new survey shows, the average person spends $58.84 on a date. I don't know where they got the 84 cents Dude, from. That ain't enough. So. Um, $50 yeah, I don't know date. where you're probably taking them to like habit, Applebee's. Fool. Habit <laughs> burger. Right, can we stop Applebee's. judging people on their dates and where no, they take I them? No, I love where they go, but I'm just saying $58 is so like that's what I spend by myself on a McDonald's Happy Meal. At okay, this point. Well, that's they're very frugal. Okay, so I, yes. I want to know where these people are going because that's a nice. Uh, <laughs> that's a nice dollar amount. That's a nice you're like, dollar where can amount. I take my wife. Show for me how to do that. <laughs> uh, so that can really add up over time, leaving two thirds of Americans feeling stressed about finances when planning a date. Mm -hmm. That money may feel like a waste if the date doesn't go well, but fifty-seven percent of people admit they've asked for refunds or contributions after a bad first date. That's <laughs> terrible. Wait a minute. You can't. <laughs> Ask for a refund, bro. Bro. If you take a woman on a date, you cannot ask for a refund if you have a bad date. You wouldn't ask for like. No. Hey, you want to pitch in for this terrible date? No, but uh, <laughs> that would be the last time I date you, though. I promise you. If, if it was a terrible date and I had a terrible time. Just pay for it. I, I just pay for it and call it a day. And, and be gone. And write it off, you know? So, it's a loss. <laughs> what? I feel like I want to send Eric out on some dates. What do you think, Nick? You feel free. You like, feel free. I want you to get... Uh, look, oh, hold on, look. Ari. I mean, if you value your friendship... <laughs> <laughs> with the, with the world? With the girls with that the you're going to put on dates with? Yeah, yeah, find somebody you really don't like that much. Come okay? on, man. So, like a new friend that you made, maybe, I that mean, you don't care less. I feel like I would like to send you, set you up on a couple dates, and maybe we can get the girls... To, no, I don't want the girls to pay. The girls should never no, pay. No, I, I, I wouldn't ask a girl to pay if um, I was interested in them. I feel like we, I got to come up with a plan. Ladies, I need help. All I right. want to get Eric, Eric out on dates. Let's talk. Can we continue to talk Later, about We'll yes. talk about it next yeah. hour. Okay, Baker Boys in the Morning, we one or two jams. We talk about this all day. One or two jams. 100% throwbacks. <laughs>
Hour number two, top five list. Tell me of the day, what the f news. Good morning, Baker news. boys. It's me, Angie V. Angie what up? V. What up, girl? All right, let's go. Weird news. Weird news. Yo, B. <laughs> It's the Baker Boys Daily on a Manifest Monday, also April Fool's. So be careful out there. People are playing jokes, and, you know, you, they may say, say something on social media or something, and then you, they may take it a trick little you. too far. Yeah, yeah who knows? So, so one person got the April Fool's of her lifetime. She was a fool in this one. A British woman with love for animals recently saved the life of a baby hedgehog. Oh. Or she thought it was a hedgehog. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like a hedgehog, but it's not a hedgehog. Exactly. I'm going to tell you what it was. That's act? <clears throat> nope. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Oh, boy. All right, so I have never saved the life of an animal or a baby animal, but I have taken the life of a baby animal here and there. When I was When I was younger, yeah, I was bad. I was really bad. I used to shock uh, frogs. Uh, we actually, oh, my God. We actually uh, contributed to killing some birds that Who's were- Who's we? Sp- me and my brother, uh, Nick. <gasps> Nick, you yeah, we have kept- a pet dove, yeah, we- and now- we overfed wow. we overfed some parrots from You've that were smuggled from Mexico. You killed her ancestors. He was an older brother. I oh, was, don't no 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 no! Don't point that finger. Anyway. I was following him. All right, so let's All talk right, about so, this woman that saved yes, a so, hedgehog. So a well-meaning British woman with a love for animals recently saved the life of a ba- a baby hedgehog. Well, at least she thought it was a baby hedgehog. The woman found the small animal on the side of the road and scooped it into a box. She then brought it home and tried to nurse it back to health. She kept it warm, put it in a dark room, Uh put some cat food in the box, hoping it would eat. Anyways, long story short, some time had passed and she was concerned because the animal hadn't moved, it hadn't eaten, Mm -hmm. and it hadn't pooped. Okay. So she picked up the box and took it to the animal hospital, right? Okay. The veterinarian took a look inside the box and immediately knew why the hedgehog wasn't moving. Well, it wasn't a hedgehog. It wasn't even a living thing. (laughs) Wait, what? What was Dude, it? Dude, it was a pom pom. What's a pom pom? Like the like the things that you find on a ski hat, a little pom pom, a little poof. Wait a minute. The beanies, you oh, know, they man. got the little balls, the pom poms on top come of Come on, beanies. man. This lady needs help. <laughs> the Animal Hospital wrote on Facebook, our hearts melted as a kind soul thought she was rescuing a baby hedgehog. Oh, my God. Remember, remember kindness knows no bounds, even if it's a faux furry friend. That's like. That's Did they like, call the hospital to come pick her up? <laughs> That's like dummy of the day, bro. Yeah, pretty much. What the hell? Oh. How do you not know the uh, the difference between a physical thing that's on a on top of a, be- a beanie and a real animal? That's Dude, that's wild. That is crazy. So I mean, <laughs> at least her heart was in the right place. God bless her. Yes, so. <laughs> Make a boys daily. All right. What up, Priscilla? What are we at, babe? We're now we're number two. This is another rando. Rando. The, the record stores. DJ Romeo, what's happening, bro? Okay. Um, you got something, Eric? Um, let me see here. <laughs> I could, uh, I could do this. I haven't done. I haven't I used got this. Something. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> what are we doing? Uh, we got to be sure. We got moves to make. All right, let's go. It is the Baker Boys Daily, along with Ari Rose, Eric V, and Nick V. Who loves their car? Uh, I don't. Uh, <laughs> I do. All right, check this out. This is crazy. Americans are really attached to their cars, so much so that 51% say that the car is a part of their family. What? And I have a question uh, to ask you guys about your car. Hold okay. up. 102 Jams. 100% throwbacks. What up, Miss Lynn? Missy Lynn. Lynn. Twitch.tv slash The Baker Boys. Yes, indeed. Eric V, Nick V, and Ari Rose right here on a Manifest Monday. Also, April Fool's out there, so be careful of people playing jokes on you. Americans are really attached to their cars, apparently. So much so that 51% consider their car to be a part of the family. Okay. According to new research, it finds that 53% will also keep their current car forever if they could. Do you feel the same way? You don't want the same car forever, do you guys? Eric wants to throw his car off. Nah, the I'm re- I'm actually week. been searching for a new car already, so mm. I'm I'm looking for something. How new. long have you had your car? Uh, probably like three years, two years, maybe. Oh, All two, right. two years. Probably. So we're talking about cars, and Americans particularly, they love their cars so much that they consider them part of the family. No, my question is. If you had to, you were homeless, and you only had your car that you have right now, Mm -hmm. would you live in your car happily and call it a part of your family at that point? No. 
No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, if I if, if that's where it's at right now and I, that's dire straits, then, you know, Can there's you, many people that have made success at, from living in the car. Or a garage. Or, you know. Or, or anywhere. Or whatever, yeah. Ari Rose, you say you would not use that car to help you get to the next level. You no. you, don't, you don't like it. What are you going to do? I'm going to go sleep on Eric's couch and just make food. No, oh, wow. my couch is going to be in my car, bro. Yeah, he doesn't have a car <laughs> couch anymore. He has a car only. My question is to so you. So all of us have cars only? Only car. You're living only in your cars. car. Cars only. Yes. Do you love your car now? It, this is all you have. I like it, but I wouldn't sleep in it. What? Where are you going to sleep if this is all that you have? I'll go to a shelter. Okay, fine. Ari Rose being difficult. I'll go to a shelter <laughs> where like, I'll get opportunities and I'll have little friends there and it'll be warm. So you're not willing to live in your car if you have to? No. All right, ladies and gentlemen. She's not one of these 51% of Americans <laughs> no, who love I'm their 49%. car. I'm 49%. <laughs> yeah, like Boyce <laughs> Daily. She hates her car. <laughs> SF Locals, too. Let's go. Um, I love my 95 convertible Mustang. I'm going to keep it forever, he says. All right, I got uh, zip codes. Wait. Okay. It's early in the morning. It's the Baker Boys 102 Jams, 100% throwback. Shout out to 94605. Also, 94546. So do you take the day off when you're sick or do you power through it? Ooh, it depends on how sick I am. Like, for instance, if I have a back issue, I can't move. So mm-hmm. I'm going to have to take the day off. Mm-hmm. What about sick? Like, <laughs> uh, Well, if I, if I have to come into the office and get you guys sick, I don't want to do that either. Right. I'd rather stay home and try to get better. You know, unless you? you guys want to get uh, sick. No, I'm taking, I'm off. Uh, yeah. When I'm sick, I can't work. Well, according to a new survey, the average American spends 84 hours a year working while sick. Mm. And 47% said they would rather just power through than take a sick day. And the reason they feel pressure to, with many worrying others, what many, they feel the pressure to, with many worrying others would think they were being dramatic by calling in sick. So they're worried about other people and what they would think. Listen, when I'm sick, I am sick. My phone is off. I am not coming. Yeah. I am not moving. You got to realize that when you are sick, it is your body telling you something. Telling you something. Got to slow down. Listen, guys out there and ladies, uh, anybody out there, if you're concerned about what other, what other people think, do not be concerned with what those yeah. people think because unless they're paying your bills and take care of your business, their, their thoughts don't mean nothing to Facts. me. Their health is number one. <laughs> yeah, right. take care of yourself. So if you're sick, stay home, guys. And nobody wants to get sick. Keep your cooties away. Yeah, For cover sure. your mouth when Period. you cough. Period. Poo. 102 jams. 100%. 102 jams. 100% throwbacks. SF local. All right. Uh, we're going something. back to my subject of the dating thing. Let's do it. So just randomly talking. Baker Boys Daily. Feel good. It's the Baker Boys in the building along with Ari Rose on a Manifest Monday. It's one or two jams, 100% throwbacks. Next. We're trying to get Eric V dated up. <laughs> Earlier, yeah. Ari you know what, Rose you know, was talking about I, dating. I want to ask Nick V because, you know, uh, Ari is new to the show here. You yeah. know, we've known her for a little bit. Yeah. I've known her for a little bit. Yeah. And then she's new a to the show. A little bit. It's been like five years. Okay. Well, whatever. Uh, anyway, so she's talking about wanting to set me up on some dates. And she had all these questions about my dating life. And I said, I don't date. She's like, well, wait a minute, you have sex. And da, da. I go, I don't have to date to have sex, brother. You know I, what I mean? Like, I don't. you don't feed these girls? <laughs> feed we go, these we girls. Go, we go Dutch, bro. <laughs> you pay your own, I pay my own. But, like, you don't want to get dressed. And I don't like... want to send the wrong message. So you just... If I pay and I'm taking them to hang out with the homies or my family, and this, that sends the wrong message, bro. Okay? <laughs> okay, but, okay, so... Is that how you talk to your date, bro? <laughs> no, bro. <laughs> I was just thinking that. Because you got a real attitude when you start talking about these women that you don't like to feed. No, yeah. bro. <laughs> <laughs> so, so okay, I'm just trying to figure out I, I want to get I want to like hook you up with a nice girl for you to okay, date. The, part I of feel the pro- like you need a partner in your life. Part of the problem is Ari, you already know this. I'm extremely picky. Okay. Uh, that's like, fine. Like that's I am fine. with my food. I'm extremely okay, picky, that's right? That's fine. I look for certain things, uh, certain looks, certain stuff like that, certain ages. I don't want a woman with kids. You already know this. It's, okay. it's very that. So that, there, we have that a lot elim- of listeners that, right now that don't have children. That's that eliminates a lot of females, but right not there. All off females, the gate. Okay. Not all females. Not all females. No, no, it doesn't. But exactly. I, so I'm it's saying, not impossible. Are you I, sure you're not just using that, those things as an excuse, Eric V? Yes. No, I, I'm looking for a dog mom. That's what I want. I want a okay. dog mom. 100%. And you know, there's a lot of people that don't want children or, you know what I right. mean? And, and, that's, and I'm one of them. That's perfect. So just like there's a you, there's a her. 
Okay, so check. What else? You what want you, a dog mom? You want someone that doesn't have children? Well, I don't want so I don't I don't want somebody age. Uh, age. age I'm looking anywhere from probably late 30s, mid 40s. Well, that's okay. better than it used to be. Yeah. Uh, well, did you hear, did you hear the key it. word, though? <laughs> right. He said, I'm looking. Looking. Yeah. Ooh, we have made improvement in the last eight months. What do you mean? I've, I've been looking. He's also Nick. changed his 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 uh, his age bracket, which yes, is Yes, it is used different. to be 21 to 23. Yeah, I, ha I have to change my age bracket because okay. my nephews and nieces have screwed my, my age bracket up. That's why. <laughs> so it's their fault. <laughs> it is their fault. It's not, you, it's not you growing up as, a, as an adult <laughs> man and thinking you need a real woman in your life, not a, a kid. Okay, Wait okay. Wait a minute. I'm looking at the chat right now. I am Lizzie B says, yikes. <laughs> okay, we are moving. Okay, show her your dating sites, Eric. So who show who? You, me. Oh, you have you're on dating sites. Yes, I, yes, of course. All right, next hour, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to give you Eric V's <laughs> okay. dating sites so you can actually see who this man is, who's going to make your dreams come true. Oh, I don't know about yes. that, ladies yes. in the Bay Area. If you're a dog mom and you're between the ages of uh, thir uh, late thirties, uh, mid forties, mid forties, yeah, okay. stay tuned because Eric V has a hamburger for you. <laughs> 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 yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to pay for nobody, bruh. <laughs> One or two gems. One hundred percent throwbacks. <laughs> Jeez. Hold how up. You, how are you supposed to entice these oh, women with, with you don't want to pay for shit? <laughs> what up, luscious lips? No, <laughs> no. no listen, listen, save, listen, save the argument. Save the no. argument. Save the argument. Okay, yeah. Well, I'm gonna save it. Hey. Hold on, hold on. Make a <laughs> buzz. <laughs> Frank Data says porn up is not a dating site. Yes, <laughs> believe me. Oh my god. Uh, I thought you Where said you didn't want someone with kids. Yeah, Baker I don't. Buzz. I don't want anybody with kids. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> I got Will Smith. Make a buzz. What do you got? I got. Uh, I got some. Hold on. Hold on. Welcome to hour number three of the Baker Boys Daily Show. Coming up in this hour, it's Baker Buzz. All right, coming up next, playing a cop on the big screen doesn't mean that Big Willie is going to get out of a speeding ticket. Will Smith, he got himself one. I'll tell you how. And Ice Cube speaks out after $5 million deal offered to Caitlin Clark to play in his big three league is revealed. Huh. Wow. wow. Yeah. Okay, we'll talk about that in the Baker Buzz. It's happy Monday. Happy April Fool's, y'all. Uh, thank you, Lizzie B. Eric goes on Christian Mingle. <laughs> no. Let black people meet. <laughs> black people meet. It's the Baker Boys Daily along with Ari Rose. Later on in this show, we're going to reveal Eric V's dating apps because he's looking for love and yes. he wants to make sure everybody has an opportunity <laughs> to be with this sexy man. Yeah. Hey, Swipe Baby steps, baby steps. He's looking for companionship. Companionship. Yes, yes. Okay, there you go. Starts there. Stay tuned later on this hour. All right, Baker Boys dry tees. All right. Coming up at this hour's Baker Buzz, Nick V is talking about. Oh, okay. Playing a cop on the big screen doesn't mean that Will Smith is going to get out of a speeding ticket. He was speeding and he got himself a ticket. So a report revealed that Ice Cube's Big Three League offered Iowa women's basketball star Caitlin Clark $5 million to play in the league. <laughs> Damn, Lizzie B got me standing on the corner. Eric, we're, we're doing a break sign. right now. Oh, I, I thought it was done. Okay. That was it's it. one. That's coming up in the Baker Buzz. One or two jams. One hundred percent throwbacks. Yeah, that was done, bro. bro. No, you're it like wasn't not done. into the show. No, that was done. <laughs> it wasn't done. It wasn't. We were we were still recording. We had to finish it. Oh. It wasn't ended. Yeah, you started and finished okay. it. We had the Baker Buzz, so you know, all, right, let's all go. three of us. All right, I'm starting for yeah, the Baker Buzz. Are. From Hollywood and beyond. We specifically said no. Well, he's got his brand new movie coming out, Bad Boys Four, with uh, Martin Lawrence, and evidently he couldn't get out of a ticket. Yeah. So we're talking about Will Smith. Will Smith was speeding down Pacific Coast Highway in Malibu. Now, it's a particularly dangerous stretch of road. If you have never driven down uh, that area of California, mm -hmm. there's a lot of fatalities, over four per year on wow. that road alone. Mm. To that end, cops have a zero tolerance policy regarding speeders. Even if you're a bad boy for life, apparently Big Willie was stopped doing 63 in a 45 MPH zone. That's not even that bad, It dude. doesn't matter. There's a zero policy for, for speeding. Mm -hmm. There's fatalities, Pacific Coast Highway. And there's a lot of mm -hmm. like stars and celebrities who live out there. So they think, and them and their big cars, expensive $500,000, this and that, that they can just zoom around the corner because of who they are. Gotcha. Guess what? You can't, homie. You got yourself a ticket. Yep. We'll see you in court. Okay. 
Well, <laughs> I'll see you in court. Yes. Okay, well, moving on to Ice Cube. He is speaking out after offering a $5 million deal to Caitlin Clark. So if you guys don't know who Caitlin Clark is, she's one of the top basketball players over in Iowa women's basketball team. Right. Um, Ice Cube released a statement confirming the report and explained why he made an offer. He says, we intended the offer to remain private while Caitlin Clark plays for the championship, but I won't deny what's now already out there. Big Three made a historic offer to her. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't we? Caitlin is a generational athlete who can achieve tremendous success in the Big Three. The skeptics laughed when we made Nancy Lieberman the first female coach of men's pro team, and she won the championship in her first year. I love then that. Lisa Leslie won it all in year two. With our offer, Caitlin Clark can make history and break down even more barriers for women athletes. That's Yay. amazing. I for love Ice that. Cube to do this, man. That's so dope. I yeah. Mean, she's in the women's finals and all that stuff. She is a gener generational talent in basketball. Mm -hmm. And why not go after somebody like that? They can actually bring more people to your game, you know, because he's been growing this big three, big three with uh, the NBA shunning him and trying to cut him down yeah. and, and TV deals being shut down because of the NBA and all these other things that are working against him. So why not get somebody like this that can work for you and help bring more visibility to his league? Yep. And one last thing that I wanted to add to that that I really loved is he said, America's woman athletes should not be forced to spend their off seasons playing in often dismissal and dubious foreign countries just yeah. to make ends meet. Yeah. So shout out to him for Agreed. paving the way and opening opportunity, you know, bringing opportunities and opening the doors for women yeah, to man. like shine again, women going into male dominated industries and having light shined on them. And I that's your make a buzz people. And that's your make a buzz people. Sorry. Uh, we're number, uh, this is uh, uh, two SF locals. I, I got, got some. zip codes and then we're going to go back to the dating thing. <laughs> All again. right, let's All do right. it. Baker Boys in the morning, 102 jams, 100% throwbacks on this Manifest Monday, also April Fool's Day today. Shout out to 95110 and also 94534. Earlier in the show, ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about dating and Eric V's dating apps. He has now opened himself up to love, and there's a specific... I have been open for love, Nick V. Okay. No, don't, don't you act, have don't, not. Don't act like I haven't been open for it. Okay. Sorry, I don't mean to offend you. Yeah, please, you let's, did. Okay, let's get back into <laughs> what you are open. O love from only these type of uh, women. They have to be a dog mom. They yeah. don't want kids. I don't want kids. The age bracket is from? M uh, late 30s. So late 30s 38, to? Say, 38, 39 to 45. Mid, mid 40s. Yeah, mid 40s. And yes. if you want to see this hunk of loving man, oh, God. you got to go to these <laughs> dating apps. Please tell us which apps you are on. Uh, I'm on Hinge and I'm on Bumble. But Wait, I have isn't not Hinge for hooking up? No, it's not. It's I a... thought Hinge is like where people go find people for sex only. No, that would be Tinder. That's is it? Yes, Tinder's more for that. Yeah. Yeah, and, what do you know? You're, you're in a Tinder. relationship. Well, you that's know. why I'm asking. I know. Well, Eric V telling us it's not. It's just for, okay. for finding so new friends. So you're on Hinge right? and yeah. Bumble. Uh, yes. And what is your, your, your tag username name? Username or your whatever. Username. It's just my name. Er Eric what? V? Eric V or uh, Eric Vidal. Okay. Don't act like I know these yeah, things, we're Eric. Not on oh, there don't get annoyed with us. We're trying to help you out here. It's just Eric Vidal. Okay, fine. That's it. There's no numbers. There's no special 69 afterwards. Eric V69. Six, no. 69 six, no. six, lover. <laughs> 69 lover, come rescue me. All right, so ladies out there, to all my gals, okay, just be prepared. He's very exciting. He's a very exciting man. Well, I don't and know so, about that. What? <laughs> Who are you talking about, and Ari? Interesting <laughs> and very She's unique. trying to pump me up. I appreciate that. Thank um, you, Ari. So if you are a dog mom and with no children, and don't want to have children, and don't want to have children, because yeah. he will not give you a. I mean, we don't. Does it work still? Like, you? Yes, it okay. works, but I don't want them. <laughs> I have no interest in them. What Did you I just ask my brother if his magic wand still works? Yeah, it still works. What kind of I question got is the that? magic. I look. I got to look out for the gals. I, I got to make sure. I'm I not mean, trying to hook up no gals with the man that you know. Unless I'm they're saying. faking. Unless they're faking, and you know. All right. <laughs> so, Ooh. What, what, all right. It is 102 jams. Hundred percent throwbacks. Porks, thank you for that fire redemption. All right. You were going to ask a question, That's Nick, and you said cool. we'll save Let's it go. for the conversation, and you didn't bring it you up. Have one? SF? This okay. is the SF local. We're still one. going on with this. I know, oh. but do you remember the question you were going to ask me yeah. about being defensive? Because I was going to, I was going to rebuttal Let something. He's looking for love, and yes. he wants to make sure everybody has an opportunity <laughs> to be with. Looking nope. for come open for love, and he's like, I've been open for love. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And this <laughs> is last hour because we stopped. I stopped from saying it. We are moving. Okay. <laughs>
<laughs> you don't want to. You don't want to pay for nobody, bruh. What a pork. What a two chips. Yeah, forget it. You, right, you, forget you, forget you it. fucked it up because we had it at that point. You're like, we'll take it on the next one. And you didn't bring it back. All up. right. Well, well, we have the breaks here. If you want to listen to the breaks, I mean, it's very simple. You can right if you here. want. But hold on. How far back was it? I don't know. All right. I feel like you just. I mean, that's, that's what I do. Like it was probably like last hour. Expensive. The, so the it's hour before this. It has to be the last hour. The hour before this. To SF locals. Here they are. Mustang. What up, Adam? Keep it forever. One. One or two jams. Because unless they're paying your bills and take care of your business, I mean, I've I've been looking. Hey, happy. He's also day. changed. That's the one. A, a kid. Okay, okay. Wait a minute. I'm looking at the chat right now. I am Lizzie B says yikes. <laughs> okay, we are moving. Okay, show her your dating sites, Eric. So who show who? You me. Oh, you have you're on dating sites. Yes, because uh, Eric V has a hamburger you for you. you haven't been open, and he said, "Yeah, I did get offensive because we offended him that we said you haven't been open to looking for love." That's what it was. No, I don't think it was that. It was All right, well, else. let's an opportunity to be with I think this we just sexy move on man. With yeah. Different now, we talked about it like eight breaks. <laughs> so, so the goal here, as we discuss with um, Complex, right. is we need to try to take people. Longer than, yeah. than we have before. The conversation. Continue the conversation. Yes. That's why we're doing these. That's why we're doing. But it. even like three hours in on the same combo. Well, guess what? The listeners only listen for fifteen minutes to an yeah, hour. Yeah, so at we're, a time. Recapping. Okay. we're recapping. We're right. recapping. Well, if you missed That's it earlier, something she does not know is there's a turnover in audience. Yes. The people that listen at six o'clock hour do not listen in the nine o'clock hour. Okay. So when we regurgitate it, it's for people who weren't here. Yeah. Okay. All right. So don't think that somebody sits there and listens to the whole entire show because no, no, no. they don't. All right. So we forgot the conversation. I forgot it. So let's just do something else yeah. here. Uh, All right, I got something here. You start, Eric. Yeah. It's 102 Jams, 100% throwbacks. The Baker Boys right here on a Manifest Monday, April Fool's Day as well. Yeah, one week from now, fast food workers' wages will go up to $20 uh. an hour. That's an increase of 25% from California's current $16 minimum wage that could uh, that took effect in January 1st. So supporters say mm -hmm. that it's a step in the right direction, but critics say it might hurt businesses and their customers. You got to pass yeah. on... Uh, the. The, the money to the customers, that means prices are going up. We talked about how ludicrous these uh, burger prices are at McDonald's. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody went to go get a Big Mac, and it was like $16 or something like that. Well, I was just talking on the phone with a uh, shout-out to my brother, DJ Nappy, out in San Jose. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people know him. He's a DJ out there. But he owns a few of the restaurants out there that a lot of people go to. He owns, like, Willard Hicks and a lot of, like, the well-known uh, restaurants out okay. there and I was just talking to him about this yesterday yeah. asking him about what he thought about the increase on wages and he said you know it's almost like impossible to keep a business alive because Damn. the cost of food is going up now the cost of employee pay is going up and then the, the taxes go you know and it's just like you keep raising all these prices and like at what point you know are you able to make profit and like really survive it's just so hard to be in the restaurant business i think it's hard to be a business owner right now but in especially general. in the restaurant business though yeah so for those people out there that are only working those minimum wage jobs though it might help them out but mm -hmm. they're gonna have to work harder and also yeah. all that extra money is going to be passed on to the customers that's you and i right so just be aware that we're going to be spending more and more money yeah. to go out and eat because it's going to cost more for these people to get paid exactly wow 102 jams 100 percent throwbacks Hour number four, top five, dummy of the day, what they have news. $16 for a Big Mac. What? Now that's a back attack, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, I got one. Uh, I got shout outs. I guess, uh, do zip codes again. No, this is that. No, this is hour number four. National. Oh, okay. I'm an hour four. Okay. It is the Baker Boys Daily right here on a Manifest Monday along with Ari Rose. So talk about Noah's Ark. Okay. Customs officials at the airport in Bangkok, Thailand, arrested six men who tried to smuggle a lot of live exotic animals in their luggage. Or trying to save the world. Oh my God. Dude. <laughs> it's coming up next. On twitch.tv slash the Baker Boys. Well, luckily, I have never had to smuggle anything that I can recall, <laughs> like a live <laughs> animal, but evidently, some people were trying to smuggle. Okay, look, one thing is, and I'm not saying smuggle drugs but one thing is to try to be smuggling like something like that yeah but another thing is to be arrested for trying to smuggle live exotic animals mm. in your luggage so oh six men were arrested they were trying to smuggle live exotic animals including an endangered red panda 
Oh, that's, that's what Eric V that's wants. That's what I want. <laughs> <laughs> Were they Were bringing probably, it for you? I think I ordered Did it online. Order it? <laughs> Uber Eats. No he, wonder it didn't get here. <laughs> he orders his red pandas, he orders his women, and he orders his burgers, no. all from Uber. No. The suspects, all from India, had checked their luggage and tried to board a flight to Mumbai, but security examined their checked luggage and discovered a total of 80 Seven animals inside. Poor animals. These included 29 monitor lizards, 21 snakes, Jeez. 15 birds, red pandas, and some others. Aren't these guys the dummies of the day? <laughs> who thinks that, that all of these animals are going to get past any kind of security system? Yeah. Dude, Thailand is known as a major smuggling hub in Asia, so authorities are always on the lookout for suspicious luggage. All six suspects were arrested and are each facing up to 10 years in prison. Wow. You guys going to have to find another way to get your exotic animals <laughs> Listen, <laughs> honey, out uh, of the country. <laughs> try a boat, okay? okay? Jesus got the animals on a boat, <laughs> so can you. Don't <laughs> give them any ideas. Ari, right, they can't be smuggling animals. Anyway, Jesus. I do want a red panda, though. Make a boys daily. <laughs> SF locals too. Slam radio networks. What's up, man? Uh, okay. You want to continue any of that, or you want to move on? I'll move on. Okay. Okay, let's get going. All right. What to do, baby? It's the Make a Boys in the morning. One hundred two jams. One hundred percent throwbacks. Man, so we were just talking about the price. Way you know the wages are going up now in California. Well, guess who's next? Who? Dollar Tree will oh. be raising their max price to tripping. $7 nope. an item. Well, nope. It's called Dollar Tree, not $7 Tree. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> what the hell? Yep. So their price points will now range from $1.50 to $7. Nope. Well, um, I guess that's not bad. I mean, think about it. A $7 item, that's that's high cost. That's like top of the line over there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. That's fancy, fancy. Premier. Oh, like, yeah. Yeah, you're getting like top VIP items. Right, right. So, I mean, does this affect you? Do, what do you go to Dollar Tree for? If, if I go to Dollar Tree to get like my tea candles. Okay. My little tea candles. Tea candles? I get that from there. Okay. I get my Ziploc bags from there. Okay. Um, I do get like the uh, foil trays for like cooking. Okay. Um, All right. If I'm cooking, you know, bigger portions. Um, that's pretty much what I get there. Eric V, do you go to Dollar Tree for any reason whatsoever? Uh, maybe to get some cleaning supplies. Our some, sister yeah. loves Dollar Tree, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. She's, yeah. she's super she, she on lives that, by man. it. Yeah, she yeah. definitely does. Instead of full, paying full price for things that are just, you know, you're going to use for cleaning and stuff like that, she'll go in there and get those type of items in there, yeah. Yeah, so anyway, so according to USA Today, Dollar Tree exec said on a call earlier this month that the fastest growing demographic is north of 125000 a year in income. It's not like the Northeast is strong and the East is weak. That boat is lifting pretty even all the way up. So, yeah, so apparently 600 locations set this spring to raise their prices. So be on the lookout. It's going to be uh, ranging between 150 to $7. All right. There yeah. it is right there. It's the Baker Boys Daily. One or two jams. 100% throwbacks. I've seen Fiji water for a dollar there. Really, Panda? Eric, right. you still I got one? All right. This is a local? Yep. Okay. Baker Boys up early in the morning. Of course, your brand new morning show, 102 Jams, 100% throwbacks. All right. We try not to put any negative news about the Bay Area out there, but we got to call them out when they got to be called out. Okay. okay. BART employees spent work shifts at home costing oh. agency thousands of dollars. Yes, I the, saw that. The BART's inspector general has put out a report that says that three employees were getting paid their regular salary and overtime. For showing up to work, clocking in, and going right back <laughs> wow. home. Yeah. How do they get away with that? Like You clock well, in and you're gone. Well, we talked about last week the Burger King employee who made up a whole fake employee right. yeah. and made $20,000 off this fake person that never worked, never existed. Try yeah. to bump the system. Listen, right. people have just gotten lazier and lazier and lazier. Yeah. Do you think COVID did that because everybody oh, yeah. was getting those checks? Absolutely. 100% they did. Yeah. Absolutely. That's what happened. It ruined society, ladies and gentlemen. Now yeah. we have TikTok. Now we have uh, craziness uh, going on with Diddy. Now we have, uh, yeah. there's just endless things that are happening. I mean, I mean, I was talking about my friend earlier who owns the restaurants in the South Bay. And one of the things he was saying after COVID was like, it's so hard to find employees. Like trying to find staff yeah, people, that wants to work. Yeah. I know people that own businesses and say it's so hard to find employees. Nobody wants to work. No. They've just gotten lazier and lazier. So how are people surviving if they're not working? 
social media influencers. Oh, God, no, that's not a thing. <laughs> wait till the grid goes down and you're not going to have oh. any TikTok. You ain't going to have no Facebook. You ain't going to have no Twitch. You, ain't, you might not what? even have any radio for well, that matter, ladies and gentlemen. And then you figure well, out what you're going to do. Radio will be the only thing that actually I works. I was just like, going to say. It's yes. electromagnetic. It might not, bro. I'm just saying, bro. Come on, man. Yeah, bro. We love you. Baker Boys Daily. <laughs> One or two jabs. 100% throwbacks. All right. Um, this is the last break. I got a feel good story here for okay. last last break. Manifest Monday, you go. All right, it's a Manifest Monday with the Baker Boys Daily coming up. Nick V has a feel good <sighs> story. I know it's a feel good story. It's a sad story, but it's a feel good story at the same time. There's a dad, and he buys his dying son a Mustang, and guess who comes hitting knocking on the door? The Ooh. CEO from Ford. What? Sims him to racing wow. school before he passes away. Oh. Feel good story coming up next, guys. Hold on. 102 Jams. 100% throwbacks. Feel good. Nick and Eric V, take it away. All right, this is a heartwarming story, but also a sad story at the same yeah. time. So we're talking about a father whose dying son had a dream, right? Yeah. His dying dream was to own a Ford Mustang since childhood, and it's currently he's currently battling terminal bone cancer. Aww. He was recently gifted a 2020 Mustang by his father, Joe. In a social media post, Joe explains why he bought his 18-year-old son the Mustang, prompting a response from Ford CEO Jim Farley, who invited the father and son to an all-expense trip to the Ford Performance Race School in Charlotte, North Carolina. Wow. Despite his health challenges, Joseph is grateful for his car and the chance to drive on a racetrack. And he's looking forward to making the most of his remaining days, including an upcoming trip to Japan. Aw, this is like such a feel good, but so sad. Oh, yeah, you live your dreams, <sighs> do it now. You never yeah. know what tomorrow might bring. And if you can help somebody else live their dreams, do that right now. Absolutely. Yeah. Change that person's life, uh, uplift them, allow them to experience the beautiful nature that we have here and congratulations to dad and also shouts out to that ceo jim farley from ford who took it yeah an extra step to help this man this young boy live his dream absolutely 100 percent, man that's definitely needed and uh, like nick says if you can help somebody out you know when they're having a tough time give them a smile for that day that that means a lot it goes a long way definitely that have a beautiful yes. blessed and powerful day from the baker boys and ari rose we'll be back tomorrow for terrific tuesday, tuesday. hi promo boys with your daily fix of fun hey it's the baker boys make sure to join us today for all the music and all the fun right here so six men tried smuggling live exotic animals in their luggage and were arrested Jeez. and there's a boy his name is joseph targeting and he's dreamed of owning a ford mustang since childhood he's dying of battle he's dying of terminal bone baker cancer boys but he daily. has his mustang and he's gonna go on a speed track as well we don't need it for the promos, Nick. You can leave the music up for the promos. Okay. Baker Boys with your daily fix of fun. Yep, your brand new morning show every single day, 6 to 10 a.m. Make sure to tune in right here for the Baker Boys. We got all kinds of good stuff, fun, and music. Well, six men have been arrested for trying to smuggle live exotic animals in their luggage, including an endangered red panda. And a dad buys his dying son a Mustang and sends him to racing school. And we're going to get into the deep dark depths of Eric V's non-dating life. <laughs> but you guys can help out. Yeah. You, you might be the lucky woman, ladies. Dog moms, I'm looking for you. <laughs> 102 Jams. 100% throwbacks. throwbacks. That is so funny. <laughs> Anybody want to take a break? We got K-Day. Yeah, I want to. I got to go bathroom real quick. Go to the bathroom and get some water. I will be right back, guys. Feel free. What up, Carlos? What up, Halfway House Records? Whoa, Halfway House, huh? Yeah, Halfway House. DJ Jesse O. Can I move your back? Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll put it on this chair. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. Yeah, you're not supposed to leave on the ground. Thanks for tuning in, party people. We appreciate you being here. Nick V, Eric V, Ari Rose. It's a Thursday. It's Thursday, right? But it's we Thursday. are recording. We recorded Friday and Monday show. And now we're going to be doing K-Day for Los Angeles. So if you guys want a shout out, you can do it. Just uh, put your shout out in the chat and we'll do our best to get it to you for K-Day. Friday night here in Los Angeles. About another 15, 20 minutes. Hi, Priscilla. What's up, baby girl? What's up, Nick V. Eric V. Saludos from Bakersfield. Julio Aguirre. What's up, bro? Thanks for being here. 
Shouts out to everybody on Instagram and Twitch. We appreciate you so very much. Any big plans for the weekend for is it uh, Easter Sunday? Easter Sunday. It's the fertility goddess. Ishtar, I believe her name is. Easter fertility goddess. Everybody thinks it's about the Jesus. Beyond Ishtar, traditioner of Easter eggs at Easter. Eggs occupy a special status during Easter observance. They're symbols of rebirth and renewal. Life bursts from, forth from the otherwise plain and inanimate object that gives you no hint on what it contains. In this regard, it's a handy symbol for resurrection of Jesus Christ. But it is a symbol that has held its meaning for a long time before Christianity adopted it. There's a meme floating around on Facebook that some people have rallied around and sharing as truth of Easter. It proclaims Easter was originally the celebration of Ishtar, the Assyrian, Assyrian and Babylonian goddess for fertility and sex. Her symbols, like the egg and bunny, were and still are fertility and sex symbols. Or did you actually think eggs and bunnies had anything to do with the resurrection? Just letting you all know. In, excuse me. It's called indoctrination. You had no idea that your parents were putting this on you. And I don't think they did either, actually. For, as a matter of fact, nobody knew about this fertility and sex symbolization symbolism before Jesus. But Easter was changed to represent Jesus, but at its roots, roots Easter, which is now pronounced Ishtar, is all about celebrating fertility and sex. I got you, Angie. I got you. Charlie, what's up, Lobo? What up, Lobo? Fertility? What did I walk in on? Jackie Gonzalez. Yeah, we're just explaining Easter for, for those who have been indoctrinated <laughs> to think it's about the resurrection of Jesus. But it is symboliz symbolism, um, rebirth and what have you. But it's actually a goddess. From Happen Ram West. What up? Uh, all right. So, Lit Dad, you want a shout out, right? Did you say get a shout out, Nick, about what you're saying? Uh, COVID ruined it all. Can't find anyone who wants to build cases because now McDonald's has all these fast food places, are paying so much for doing nothing. Everyone wants to get paid for nothing. Agree. All right. Um, so this is K-Day. Okay. We're recording K-Day now, guys. This is in Los Angeles every Friday night, guys. Happy um, Thursday. Happen Ram West Los Angeles. What's up? Gabriella. What's up? Gabriella. Happy Thursday. We're recording behind the scenes right now of our syndicated radio shows. Gabriella, what up? We're going to be doing K-Day next for Los Angeles, and then we're going to be raiding out. Who wants a shout out? You guys 10. put your name in the chat, guys. Uh, the sound drops super low. Really? Right now? Should be. Should be the same. Okay. I haven't, I haven't moved anything. I haven't, I haven't adjusted no sound. All right, guys, here we go. Uh, I'm going to start with the uh, promo, Eric. Uh, Katie? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, and also, we, let's tease that we're going to be talking about the Diddy thing. Right? Okay. That's fine. Here we go. All right. Got you, Candy. It is a Feel Good Friday, 93.5 K-Day, hip hop back in the day. Nick V. Eric V. The Baker Boys along with Ari Rose. Oh, you were going to. Oh, okay. My fault. Promo <laughs> first and then I'm, I'm Diddy. Okay, I'm stopping this recording over here. So